Hi guys and welcome to the German Grand Prix from the Nürburgring and we're here for round number 10 of the Stop Drop Gaming GP2 Championship. Here's qualifying. So with rain predicted for the race I opted for a wet setup which meant that qualifying was never going to be good and as you can see I'm lying down in 6th position and yeah this is my best lap from qualifying as we come into the first corner breaking pretty late just making sure not to hit that bollard really that's got to be the main objective um, so as now we've run out way way wide it's never never going to be good and we're just really struggling with the car in in the dry conditions we at this point we are begging and hoping that it is going to be a wet race uh, looking on the radar it said 100% and they actually had the heavy rain clouds so um, yeah it was going to be it was going to be an interesting interesting race but for qualifying it, it made for an absolute dog of a lap as you can see we can't really fault uh, our line through there but the speed is just isn't quite there and this is the low fuel run so it was just literally one run Although, it really, we probably could have stayed out there on the option tyres, seeing as you don't actually need to use them in the race, but that was a huge, huge gamble to take. And as you can see now, we've got cars starting to retire, and we're just going to come around about at um, about when the flag drops. So, yeah, there are quite a few drivers uh, retiring, as we don't take that chicane as we want to. But as we're coming up to the final corner now, it's rounding off a pretty bad lap with a, a good last corner don't quite clip the curb on the exit and as you can see that lap was only enough for sixth place on the grid unfortunately there were only seven runners in the race due to a number of reasons um, hopefully the numbers will increase again but uh, yeah Robin took pole as probably uh, was expected maybe you thought Mitchell would be further up the grid but it was going to make for an interesting, uh, interesting race as you can see podium celebrations for qualifying here's the race as you can see then we're sitting on the grid for the race and we've got wet conditions it's only though enough for intermediates as we're sitting here waiting for the lights and now we've got three, four, we've got five lights for the German Grand Prix and we are away at the Nürburgring and getting a decent start from sixth position again not really where I wanted to be on the grid but some people did not realise that it was going to be a wet race as we take a lunge down the inside that is a brilliant first corner as we see the gap and now running neck and neck with Matt as we go around the outside and look as we look as if we touch wheels just about but it's pretty clean racing as now we try and come just around the right hand and just make sure that our car is intact and we are in a podium position as we're closing in on Matt we can tell that we've got our car really set up well as we're into P2 and it's been a great start the wet setup is really paying off and whereas some went for a compromise between wet and dry due to a small grid I decided to go for a full wet setup and it looks as if it's paid off as we come into the chicane at the end of lap one and we've got smashed off at the chicane it's absolute disaster and as we rejoin the track in seventh and last position it's going to be a long way back from here and now lap three we've got Vortex who's just pitted we're running neck and neck as we throw a hand up at him managed to get the move done though and not too much damage was done there as now we're on lap 5 and closing in on Jitter 87 as he his tyres already look as if they're going I'm not sure what sort of setup he was running but it doesn't look as if it is the full wet setup he just doesn't seem to be getting the grip out the corners that I am as we can just get the confidence to break a little bit later he gets uh, just ahead of us but as you can see his tyres are giving up already we just slot the car down the inside and we're up into P5. And as we've got Doughboy here in uh, P3, Matt pitted a lap earlier, so this was really, uh, the tyres were struggling at this point. But uh, as we 
switch it into the lean fuel mix. We are very marginal on fuel. Robin has also made his way into the pits as Doughboy pits. Alongside myself, it's been a good race for him so far after nearly taking pole position off the Mercedes driver. And as you can see here, we're rejoining in sixth position. And Mitchell, the championship leader, doesn't really look to be anywhere in this race, but he could. As always, spark a surprise as Matt sets the fastest lap. And now we skip on to lap 12 as we've got Matt and Doughboy. As Matt runs wide and Doughboy is running side by side with him, he looks as if he's got the move done. And Matt there, his exit is compromised. We're running neck and neck with him. And now will we be able to take P4? No, we give him enough room to just come through. How we didn't make contact, I'm not sure. We did make slight contact there. But Matt gets the move done. And this is where the race started to descend into a bit of farce. As you can see, Mitchell, the championship leader, disconnecting from the race. Brings us up to P4, but maybe not in the way that we would have wanted it to be. But we've still got a three-way battle for second place as Robin looks to be running away with the victory. And now on lap 13, Jitter also disconnecting from the race. It is really, really disappointing to see things like this, especially when we've got such a small grid. But as you can see, Matt runs wide once more. His tyres that lap older than mine. Although that did manage to get in the jump on me. However, now I managed to slip one up the inside and just cover myself from any move back to take P3. So, lap 16, it was time for the second stops. As you can see, conditions ne neither here nor there as uh, regards to worsening conditions, at least, as we slot the car into the pit box. Lotus boys, a good stop there. No need to have a conversation with them about their paychecks at the end of the month if Lotus can afford to pay them that is as you can see just slotted into P4 unfortunately once again just behind Matt who uh, managed to get the undercut on us once more but look at that his car just disappears in front of our screen it was going to be a great battle but unfortunately the man who lies third place in this championship is no longer in this race so it's a two horse battle for second place, I mean, it would have been a three-way battle going into turn one had he still been there. But now, as we're fighting with Doughboy for what will be the second place on the podium, and we're now fighting over the last two podium positions, the minor podium positions, as Vortex is a long way back. And as we skip onto lap 23, the conditions have worsened, and I decide to take a punt on the wet tyres as I just cannot find my way past Doughboy who has placed his car absolutely superbly in this race, just his second race sorry, third race I believe it is actually, in the uh, SDG League as we slip into that pit box once more but this time it's the full wet tyres that are going on, we probably were going to have to make another stop so we take this opportunity to put the wet tyres on and, and you can probably make that out because of the uh, the puddles that you see and we're minus one on fuel so we'll have to do some fuel saving at some point but this at this point in the race I was just jumping with joy because the grip that these wet tyres were offering was so much more than the intermediates were it was sort of a gradual uh, process though we did know that heavy rain was on the way and as you can see Doughboy only just getting out of his pit box now it, we've got the jump on him and this is the chance that we're going to take to do some fuel saving we uh, took the opportunity to, to do that rather than chase Robin down so lap 30 came and he won the race and we came round the final corner to take our joint best result of the season jumping with joy after the checkered flag and as you can see we took P2 from Doughboy Mitchell unfortunately the championship leader disconnected along with Jitta and also Matt Vortex took a valuable 12 points as Ferrari, 27 points for them. 18 points for Lotus and obviously the 25 points for Mercedes, but that could have been a lot, lot more. So yeah, that's about it for today. I managed to somehow find my way onto the podium. See if we can do the same in Spa. Until next time, guys, it's goodbye from me.